Hello, hello, folks. I'm Ryder Boost again, and here to make a short video about Autocad LT 2018, a new version that came out in March 2017. And we mainly focus on Autocad LT installation and first run. So let's start. Obviously, you do need to have installation files ready to go along. And the easiest way to do that is from Autodesk website, autodesk.com, Autocad LT, or from your Autodesk account manage.autodesk.com. Installation is same for trial and licensed versions. So let's begin and let's pick for example Autodesk website as a installation option. Once my Autocad LT product page is loaded, I can directly go to free trial or download free trial. I then need to select the Autocad LT version that I want to download. As you see, you have to create account or sign in with your existing account to be able to do that. At the moment, I'm using my current Autodesk account and just sign in. Email and of course, password, sign in. Now, you are able to start your download. Of course, before that, you can select the language version. I'm currently selecting English and then begin download. By the way, you have different options how to do that. If you pick begin download, it means that it will need an internet connection during installation as well. It's possible if you plan to install Autocad LT into multiple machines, you just first download your files using for example download manager and then you install the product. As I said, I will pick this web installation option, begin download. I can then agree with license agreement and select continue. For example, I will pick desktop as my file download destination. It's not yet a full package that will be downloaded. I hit save. I will then minimize my browser window and run the installation from this downloaded file. Double click on it. The installation procedure starts, but remember that it will need internet connection to download additional installation files. Therefore, it is much quicker if you have good internet connection. I will then agree to continue with installation and my installation startup dialog will load. Once the installer load, I have basically two options. I can go to install tools and utilities. If I left click, I can see that I'm able to install, for example, network license manager and additional tools how product is used by installing Autodesk CAD manager tools. But right now I'm interested mainly on Autocad LT installation itself. So I hit back and before I go forward with installation, I would like to point out that you have links down below like installation help, system requirements and readme. Especially system requirements is good to be read before you start installation because it says what hardware is expected so that you can run Autocad LT 2018 smoothly. So I hit install. I can then pick my country or region, read the license agreement, accept with it, and then clicking on next. In this screen, I can select which options I would like to install with Autocad LT 2018. For example, I can click on Autocad LT and it will open up a installation type option, typical or custom. Custom enables me to select which components I want to install. Right now, I pick typical again. I also recommend to create the desktop shortcut for Autocad LT 2018, so this is selected. To go back, I just hit again the same area, Autocad LT. I can also see that shared components will be installed or updated, depending on configuration and previous installations. This A360 desktop is a connection point to your cloud services. So if I click on it, I can select if I want to install it or not. If I install it, of course later on it's possible to turn it off if I don't want to use it at that current moment. I will leave it on. I hit again A360 desktop. Of course you can change installation path. I keep it usually as a default path. So it's my C drive, program files and Autodesk. I can also see what is a disk space requirement so that I can install Autocad LT into my machine. Right now I have plenty of space, so it's good to go on. And to do that I hit install. Now different components 
that are required to run Autodesk LT will be also installed. By the way, if you picked web install as I did, you can also see that those different components are downloaded first and then will be installed. So it means again that you need to have quite good internet connection. Overall, there are quite many components that will be installed with Autodesk LT and those components are dynamically shown while product is installed. And if this number is going to zero, then you can see that your products are hopefully successfully installed. If you install a 360 desktop, it usually needs to be closed before it's updated. And it means that you may get a similar message as I have right now. I can hit console to install that component later. You may see the screen that some components were successfully installed. Right now, I'm particularly interested about Autodesk LT 2018. A360 desktop can be installed later, as well as updated version of Autodesk desktop app. I hit finish. Once my desktop recovers, I should see a new icon called Autodesk LT 2018. But what about Autodesk desktop app and this A360? It's easier if installation of those components fails to check that you don't have any previous version installed. Especially, those should not be active. For example, if I go to my taskbar, I check if my Autodesk desktop app is active or not. Currently, it's not. Also, if I go to Programs and Features and then search A360, I can see that I do have a previous version installed. So I right click and uninstall, hit yes, again yes, and it may indicate that you need to restart your PC so that the previous version can be successfully uninstalled. So it means that I hit OK and restart my PC. See you later. Once my PC is restarted, I activate installation again from the same icon as I did at the beginning. It should be much quicker because you already have all those valid files. So I hit install, I agree with license terms, and I can see that my Autocad LT is already successfully installed. But A360 desktop, it needs to be reconfigured. So that is why I removed the previous version and move on now with this component installation. If you don't need that component, you don't have to follow the next procedure. You can simply cancel installation in general. I hit install, you will see that this new component needs to be downloaded. And as we can see, now also those two components are successfully installed. So altogether, I can finish my installation procedure. In addition to Autogad LT 2018, I also have now a shortcut to A360 desktop. You may need to restart your PC again after installation of A360 or Autodesk desktop app. And it's definitely recommended to do that. So once again, I do a restart and see you soon. Before I fire up Autodesk LT 2018 first time, I also want to point out that uh, those installation setup files, you can safely move to your C drive or whatever drive you like to keep those. And it makes it easier to reinstall the product, meaning that uh, you don't have to download all those files again. So if I go to my Windows Explorer and C drive, Autodesk, then this is a default location to where those downloaded files are saved. And from here you can find all needed files for reinstallation of Autodesk LT 2018. So I just pick those two files and copy those over and keep those here and then close again my Windows Explorer. But let's now do a first start of Autoget LT 2018. So I double click on this icon. If I have some previous version installed in my machine, Autoget LT 2018 suggests to import my previous settings. So if I'm satisfied enough with those settings that are changed by me, then I can simply go and select OK. Or if I don't want to do that this time, I can do that later. So I hit cancel right now. I may also get a message that my Autocad LT is not a default application for DWG files. 
but it's because I do have multiple versions of AutoCAD installed, so I don't want to associate AutoCAD LT this time. And therefore, I say to not associate DWG files with AutoCAD LT. But if it is your only AutoCAD application, then it's recommended to reassociate. So I pick do not. And my AutoCAD LT user interface will be loaded first time in this machine. Because I downloaded my AutoCAD LT from Autodesk website, and as you saw, I did not input any serial numbers. It basically means that I started a trial. But no worries, if you have a license or serials, you can activate your LT from this little window. And you can do that later as well. So right now, I just close this window. Because I do have several AutoCAD versions installed and also Autodesk app that will communicate with all my Autodesk licenses, it means that I'm also already signed in with my Autodesk account. You may use the same account when you started your download procedure. In general, you can see that in terms of user interface, there are not so much to be worried about changes. So you can successfully start using AutoCAD LT 2018. Perhaps quite important thing to mention is that if you save your drawing, this version 2018 introduce a new file format. So it's not anymore 2013, but 2018. And of course, it means that newer files cannot be opened with older version. You need to convert those. If you are interested about other new features, it's better to go to autodesk.com website and have a look. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.